Hey guys, Adrian here for DigitalDojos.com and today I wanted to bring you guys a review and kind of an overview as well at the same time of an app that was just recently released for Mac OS X in the App Store, the Mac App Store to be precise. This is Simple Note. This is an app that has been out on the mobile platform on the web for quite a while. So it is cross-platform. You can get it on the web using any browser at Simple Note. I'll leave the link down below. Um, simple Note, as the name entails, is just a place for you to put simple text notes, whether it's to-do list items, um, random bits of notes, quotes, whatever you want to, you know, whatever you think of and you just want to jot down, Simple Note is a really great app for that. And it's the app I've been using across all of my devices, my iPad, my iPhone, all of that. And now Simple Note for the Mac is an app for you to use, you know, it's, a th it's official application because if, before you had to use third party apps to sync with Simple Note. That's what's so great about this. This is the official app by the guys at Simple Note, and it does sync with your account. You sign into your account or you sign up for an account, and it can sync across your devices, all of your devices. Um, and, and the iPhone application stuff like that has support for Dropbox and that sort of stuff. Um, but this is just specifically taking a look at the desktop version. So you can see here, first off, design wise, the app is sticking to its name, Simple Note. It's very clean, very minimal, very OS X like, and at the same time, kind of taking a page out of that iOS 7 really flat design. And talking about it from a design perspective, I like it. It's very minimal. It's very clean. That's one of the reasons I use it. Um, and it has a little bit of features over things like the regular Notes app. Um, just in, in the fact that it can sync across all devices, it doesn't have to be iOS is the reason I use it. But on the desktop end, I think I think they could have done a little bit better design in terms of in sort of terms of consistency. They have three panes here essentially. You have your left pane right here that shows all notes, the trash, and you can go through it here. You can empty the trash, um, and then you have your tags. These are your tags that are essentially uh, you can give to notes to help you find them to search through them easier. So you can see lists, test, Apple TV, anything related to make it easier to find your specific note. You can hide the pane here and you can see in the second pane you have just all general notes, all of your notes right here that you can view down in chronological order. And last but not least, you have this third pane for your note, the main pane for all of your notes. I think it, it's, a, it's a nice interface, the three pane thing. I think they could have done a little bit of color scheming, not just have this white consistent look. Um, it, that's just my personal opinion on it. Maybe some people <laughs> will prefer it. You can click through your notes right here as you can see here. I use this a lot for my videos i like to put video notes in here on my iphone it's very clean very easy to do you can create a new note by clicking the plus button here and when you create a new note essentially the title is always taken off of the first line of text that you put down in the top right you have the options to go full screen and you have this nice little three dots here which give you a couple of features for example this shows you your word count this shows you your characters shows you when it was modified you can choose to pin a note to the top of your list here so that's really cool if you have a special note that you need you don't want to go down in terms of chronological order you can collaborate so you can share it out and have other people edit the note by adding their email addresses choose to publish it to the web so you can publish it to a specific web page there um, and you also have this history feature this is a really cool feature if you take uh, for example, I gave a speech at um, graduation. I used Simple Note to write the, the speech out. And what I could do there is by using that history thing, you can kind of see previous versions of the note. So how you constructed it, if you've edited it, any, if you really want to go back and or just get something that you may have had in the note before that isn't in the current version. So that's a really cool feature. Last but not least, you can move it to the trash. Um, at the very bottom here, you have the ability to search between notes and you have the ability to add tags into your notes again to make it a little bit more easier to find specific notes. So what's my overall opinion? Well, if I was to rate it a solid eight out of 10, the Simple Note app for Mac OS X isn't quite perfect yet, and it's not for every user out there. Again, if you just want simple notes to put in, simple text, quick, easy, and uh, you know, fast, then this is for you. But for those users who are, uh, I like to call it, you know, more pro users, and specifically those who use more powerful text applications, uh, it doesn't have things like markdown support. It doesn't have all the sync options out there. It doesn't have um, all the text options and for the Mac OS 10 specifically, I don't see any, you know, bold facing options to do bold text and stuff like that. You know, text, um, and like the iPhone app, it doesn't have as many tools built into the Mac OS 10 app. Again, this is the first revision of the app. This is it just coming out in the Mac app store. I'm sure there's going to be updates, adding some tools here and there. Um, but as of right now, it's not perfect, but it's good. It's simple. It's clean. And that's what the app is really named after. Simple note. So if you want to check it out, you can find it in the description down below. It's completely free. And for more information, of course, head over to digitaldojos.com. 
Hey guys, Adrian here, and thanks a lot for watching. What do you guys think about Simple Note? I'd love to hear you guys' feedback down below. You guys can check out my previous video, and if you enjoyed, please hit that thumbs up button and like the video. It helps out a ton. And of course, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. You can find all my social links down below. And of course, head over to digitaldojos.com. And a huge shout out to you guys who are clicking that, click the tweet link down below, button down below in the description. It really does help out. A huge shout out to TX Brad. Uh, man, you have been uh, retweeting a couple of my last videos. A huge shout out to you. And if you guys want to get a shout out, hit that click the tweet down below. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.